name is Alex, and alongside me is another commentator, Vader. Hello, everyone. I'm commentator Vader. Enjoy this dog punch. Yes, I And today, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tuesday Night Rival Episode 11. Here we got our first match of the day. We're going to see Terry Bogard taking on Cloud. The continuous rivalry. Terry Bogard and Cloudburn have their first clash against each other with, Ter with Terry Bogard made his first debut on Super Smash Bros. a couple of weeks ago, which was like probably like last month. But now ever since then, he had a rivalry with he had a rivalry because him and Cloud were the last two standing out of all out of four rivals. It was Terry Bogard, <coughs> Cloud, Incineroar, and Toon Link. Now Toon Link and Incineroar had a great battle against each other, but the last two was Terry Bogard and Cloud, which I told you, Alex, they were going to be the last two. Indeed, and then after that, they had their first rivalry match. It was a phenomenal match. You guys can check that video out. Terry Bogard versus Cloud, the first match that they had. Terry Bogard and Cloud tore down the house. But unfortunately, Terry Bogard turned out to be the victor on this one, so now Cloud is going to get a little payback. So this rivalry match still continues. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have been rocking with us since day one, please make sure to hit the bell for notifications to get notified. And please, give this video a thumbs up. And also, shout out to Starfire Jeff for winning his first online tourney. That was amazing last Friday. Congratulations to Starfire Jet, our creator and our leader. So, Vader, do you know what we're going to do? Um, we're going to be, uh, talking about how Bell is going to become a future champion. Wrong! We're gonna stop talking and we're gonna get on with the action! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen! Terry Bogard versus Cloud! Will the rivalry end or will it continue? One, Here we go! These two are ready, are ready to fight each other. Cloud goes for the first one and there goes Terry Bogard. He goes for the first strike attack, the lightning attack. Ooh, there it goes, no good. Uh oh, he grabs a trophy. He grabs a trophy, but it, ooh! He grabs it this time, and he grabs the hammer, brother. Ooh, it looks like Cloud. It looks like Cloud is doing one of his little tricks. Uh oh, Terry Bogard. He tried to get something up his sleeve. Terry is right there. Uh oh. But he goes after the jewel, and he goes out of another trophy. You know, honestly, I don't understand why is this battle have to be having items. You know, honestly, we have to have a battle like this. We should be showing like less items rather than more. Well, more items make the battle more stronger, you know? Ooh. And there goes the trophy that he used. Oh my goodness, he's gonna fly it! Hey, come on, come on. And look at that, he, <laughs> he's taunting Cloud. And Cloud, ooh. Oh, and Cloud goes for that one again. Oh, ooh, no good with that one. Cloud is actually trying to do whatever he can to make sure that Terry Bogart doesn't get the victory. But obviously, Terry Bogart is not doing exactly what he did in the battle. And there goes Terry Bogart. He used his specialty as he ran up close to Cloud. And look at that. Ooh, a wolf punch, wolf pack punch. Good job by Cloud. Good job. And a bad job by him for throwing out the Pokeball. That could have helped him. Ooh, it looks like, uh-oh, looks like Cloud got him on that one. Oh, and that was a 4-4. Four four. Good job by Cloud. He did what he had to do. He stayed focused, and he had to do what he can to get Cloud, to get Terry out, to get Terry distracted, to get that specialty out of the way. Ooh. Oh, and he gets him again. But it's no good. It's not going to work on him. No good there. You're right, Vader. He grabs the food. He grabs the spicy food, and look at that. Terry Bogart is getting burned. He has 69 percent of damage. Cloud has 170. Has 116. Uh oh. Terry Bogart got all the pieces. Oh, and he gets Cloud and knocks him out, and that's three to four. Good job by Terry Bogart. Terry Bogart is being the smartest person ever. He's trying to compete. He's trying to make sure that everything that he does is try is is actually evenly matched with, ooh! A kick soccer ball. You know, honestly, I actually have to admit, didn't Terry Bogart once with a soccer ball player? No, he's going to fight her. He's going with a specialty on Cloud! Ooh, and knocked Cloud out, and that's two to four! He's keeping up a good battle here, Vader! He is indeed. Terry Bogart is 
man. Quite a great fighter. Now, only if Ken was like that, maybe something would have been different. Ooh! Grabs him with the special! Now it is a three to two! I see what Cloud did. He actually tried to get, he got Terry Bogart while his defense was down, and he was trying to get back into the arena. I saw that. That was actually an amazing work right there. Ooh. There goes, he grabs a baseball, throws it at him. No good there. Oh, look at that, the sword slashing. He's trying to get Cloud. Oh, no good there. Oh, but Cloud is all charged up, and no good there. Here comes Terry Bogart with the punches and kicks. Ooh, ooh, that would have been a great explosion. Ooh, look at that with a with a flying punch to the face. He grabs it right there. Uh oh, there goes some healing, some healing. Cloud misses with the sword slashing wave. No good there. Oh, here comes Terry Bogart yet again. Oh, and he gets Cloud in mid air. Good idea. Getting your opponent in mid air is the best way for you to get your opponent out. Three to one, only one stock left for Cloud. Can he actually beat Terry Bogart? Terry Bogart is on a roll here. He has never lost a match in this Super Smash Brothers nor in his rivalry time. Ooh, oh, no good there. Oh my goodness. Look at that, Terry Bogart, uh oh, he's in trouble. What is Cloud gonna do? Ooh, Cloud is trying to use his specialty. If he can, uh oh, but he grabs the tool and uh oh. There it goes. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Both fired at each other. A banana and a laser both fired at each other. Uh oh. Cloud is in trouble. Cloud is in trouble. What's going to happen to him? And, and it looks like Terry Bogart is in trouble as well. But it looks like Cloud is actually definitely in trouble because he wasted all his specials. Uh oh. Look at that. He's actually doing an amazing job right now, which Cloud is not even doing the job that he's supposed to do. He's supposed to eliminate him. Ooh, no good there. The vampire from the game from the game that uh Simon and Richard came from. Oh! Castlevania. Is that the name of the game that they came from? I believe so. Uh oh, no good there. Oh! Terry Bogard. His special Oh my goodness, it is two to one! Cloud trying to get him a little redemption there. Can he actually so can he actually admit that he can beat Terry Bogart? Or will Terry Bogart be better? Ooh. Oh my goodness! Can this actually rivalry end or no? Terry Bogart, he gra oh no good there. Oh my goodness, an explosion and Terry Bogart beats Cloud for the second time in a row! Terry Bogart, the rookie of Super Smash, takes victory over Cloud. Congratulations! Well, that wasn't all. Well, that was actually a good fight right there. But I say the first time when they fought, it was better than this one. But I have to give it to Cloud. He did whatever he can to try to get back at Terry. But Terry Bogart is just too unstoppable for you, Cloud. So I would suggest you go find yourself another rivalry where you can actually square off with him. Until you can be better, then you can finally fight Cloud. Then you can finally fight Terry Bogart and probably get your payback. Well, it will happen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Terry Bogart takes victory over Cloud. We're going to go over to our next match right now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our next match is going to be a four-way. It's going to be Yoshi versus Roy versus Bowser Jr. versus Grit Ninja. And here we go. The match begins as we see our former online champion who played that Starfight Jet 2. Yoshi, but he's not a real champion in our status. Well, yeah, he's not a champion, but in Star Fox Jet opinion, he is. Ooh, good job by Yoshi. It has been a while since we have seen Yoshi in action. We saw him in our last fight with Green Ninja. Now it's a four-way between Bowser Jr., who is a rivalry of Yoshi in recent games. And also on top of that, he has gone he has gone toe to toe with Greninja. Bowser Jr. is the only rivalry. The king, the prince of Koopas, is actually going to prevail. But now in an addition, he we see Roy here. Ooh, Bowser Jr. going after Yoshi. Oh, no good there. Here comes Yoshi. Oh, Bowser Jr. is trying to is trying to lay down a law. Yoshi trying to tell who's the toughest of them all. Oh, the explosion. But there goes the drops. This is a fatal four-way fight that- Oh, Good job by Yoshi as he get rid of Bowser Jr. Obviously, Yoshi wants to do that because 
his he cannot even actually win a fight on his own like this. Yoshi can't do it. No good there as Yoshi try to go for the specialty. Bowser Jr. Oh my goodness. He's eliminate Yoshi and he eliminates Roy. Uh oh. There goes Bowser Jr. specialty. Oh, no good there. Here comes oh Red Ninja. He's going for his specialty. He's trying to see who he can use it against. If he can use it against anyone. Oh, he got it on two. He got it on two. He got it on Roy and Bowser Jr. An amazing strength turn of event. And then Bowser Jr. only has two, three stocks left. Here comes Roy. He can use his specialty anytime he wants to. And he does not use it against anyone. Oh, my goodness. But there go Yoshi. He grabs the specialty and he's going for it. Who's he going after this time? Oh, and he gets Roy this time. Why would you go after Roy? I don't understand why is everyone always after Roy. What did Roy ever do to you? Give me go. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yoji has a bright idea of getting rid of Bowser Jr.'s trophy or Roy's trophy assist. Obviously, because Yoshi is a loser. He don't even have his own choice. He don't even have his own option. Bowser Jr. only got three stocks. Yoshi got four. Grand Ninja got three. Everyone except Yoshi has three stocks. Yoshi still has four stocks inside the battle. Oh my goodness. Now they're trying to give him three. Now they're trying to give him three. Because once you do that, he becomes a target. You have to remember. You have to remember, Alex. Once you end up saying something about that character, the character, the other fighters end up reacting. So now they are going to be at the attack. Ooh! Bowser Jr. loses a stock. He has two stocks left. Oh my goodness. Now Roy got two stocks. Here comes, oh, his Pokeball. Oh my goodness. Yoshi now got three stocks. Roy got two. Bowser Jr. has two stocks. Oh my goodness. Roy got one stock left. What will happen to Roy? Oh, Greninja got Yoshi. The rivalry between these two could start or could it just be, oh, a boot. Oh my goodness. Yoshi is just pulling out Mayhem out there, but I don't want no one to get hit by the specialty. He goes after Roy again with the specialty. Roy got 3%. It won't work. Roy is still in the game process. There it goes. These guys are really... Oh, Roy, he's about to use his specialty. Is he going to use it on Yoshi or will he use it? Oh, he gets Bowser Jr. with it. Good job. But here comes Roy and Yoshi. They're going one-on-one. -on -one. Final Fan is the, uh, the Fire Emblem and a one half of the Mario series going against each other and you know honestly Yoshi was a part of that when he went against when he went against Roy and I think it was Ike and I think it was someone else I think it was Marth and somebody else but they went against the loyalty I mean the fire, fire emblem and they cheated that time when Mario took a stock from I think either Yoshi or Luigi and came back into the game and they secretly won I don't know how that happened but it did so still I want Yoshi to end up in fourth place because I want Bowser Jr. to win this whole entire game Ooh, good job. There goes Yoshi. Oh, my goodness. He's going for the bombs. He's going for the drop. Oh, hit with a baseball bat. He got two stocks left. Greninja and Yoshi are the only two who got two stocks left. Oh, my goodness. He's getting hit. He got hit. Oh. Here comes Yoshi. Oh, my goodness. He's still back on his own two feet. But yet, again, clap off Bowser Jr. Using his specialty. And Roy is eliminated from the match. Ooh. And it looks like Bowser Jr. only has one stock left in Z. Uh-oh. Here it goes. He gets, he gets Bowser Jr. Oh, my goodness. And there goes Yoshi. He's getting Greninja. Oh, come on. You should have known better than not to drop the defensive. Now he only has one stock left in turn. Ooh. There go the explosion. Yoshi was trying to go after the item, but there it goes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, do you see that right there, Vader? Yeah, I am looking at it. I'm looking at it all right. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Here it goes. No good there. Yoshi goes off to the edge, but then all of a sudden, there goes the races. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Greninja, Bowser Jr., the two rivalries, the two, the one and a half rivalry, the rivalry of Yoshi and Bowser Jr., Greninja is a former fighter, is a former opponent to Yoshi, uh-oh, they're both in trouble here, 
What's gonna happen? Oh, Bowser Jr. gets Greninja. But no good there. Oh! Bowser Jr. has been eliminated, so now the only two left inside this one is Yoshi and Greninja. They both have one stock left. Oh, there goes. The Pokemon grabs Yoshi, but Yoshi escapes. Yoshi escapes out of it. He's still in a fight. Red Ninja is still in the fight. Oh my goodness. What the freak is going on? Come on, Red Ninja. You can't let this happen. Red Ninja and Yoshi. They're starting a rivalry here. Could this be a good fight or could this be just a tourney? If Yoshi actually wins this, this could be his number one chance to get inside the spot of a tourney. No good there. He grabs that one. Oh. There goes Yoshi with the egg roll. Ooh. Oh my goodness. He's trying to go for the uppercut. Ooh. Ooh. He gets it right there. Ooh. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. And there goes Yoshi. He goes for the specialty. This could be it, Vader. It is it. And Yoshi wins, and he takes down Greninja with the specialty, and a what a rivalry match that was! Yoshi and Greninja were the last two survivors of this game, and so congratulations to Yoshi as he takes victory over four opponents. A, new, a rivalry of his that he has faced in past and in present. Well, congratulations to that green idiot. I wanted Bowser Jr. to win it, but because of Yoshi hitting it with the headbutt, he actually took victory over that one. So darn it, Bowser Jr. We need him to start doing some training right now because I want him to team up with his dad so bad. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, it's a good match here. We got Team Yellow versus Team Green. We got the Princesses, Peach and Daisy, taking on Dark Summit and Snake. Here we go. The two princesses are finally decided to team up. Now Daisy and Princess Peach, the two opposite, the two same fighters against each other, but one is actually barely supreme and different supreme than the other. Princess Daisy is more supreme than Princess Peach. Why? Is because she is a two-time Super Smash Brothers champion, obviously. There goes Snake, who is a, obviously a rivalry to Fox with Cloud. But still, in this time and era, Fox with Cloud beat him. Ooh! Snake lost a stock right there. And there goes. Ooh! The princesses are actually doing good at their own hotel. Look at their castle. That's what this means, castle. But still, though, I can, I can, I can imagine. There goes the hammer. Princess beat. Princess Daisy got the hammer. Uh-oh. Look at this. She's getting rid of Snake and... She got rid of Snake and ooh. And on top of that, these two are actually doing good for themselves. It's like it's like when you see them going through, they're like it's like they're fighting, but they're going through their own adventure. Well the Prince well, Princess Daisy should be in a Super Mario Super Mario Brothers game, because honestly it would be good. Snake activated specialty, he's aiming for Princess. Uh oh, he's aiming for Daisy, but Daisy, oh, Daisy and Peach, oh, Peach loses the stock. Daisy is still on her two feet. She still got her five stocks left. Oh, look at the hip hop. One hip hop from Princess Peach to Dark Summons, and one from Daisy to, uh, uh, to, um, ooh, to Snake. Good job by Princess Peach, and she got that one going for Princess Daisy, for Princess Daisy, I mean, Princess Daisy got that going for Princess Peach. The two princesses, why would you just call them, why would you just call them Peach and Daisy, that's all. Remember what I said a long time ago, you don't have to call them princesses. In the Super Mario game, yes, yeah, you can call them princesses, but in Super Smash Brothers, just call them Peach and Daisy, that's all you gotta do. These two are, these, these two women are trying to create their own tag team. These women right here have been creating history for each other, even in Super Mario, even in a Mario Sport Mix. They are two-time volleyball champion. They tied it up with the Mario Brothers. Ooh. And they're also a dodgeball champion. Daisy has won her own hometown. And on top of that, these guys can be former champions. Daisy is already a two-time former Super Smash Brothers champion. Peach has not yet fulfilled her, her dream of becoming a Super Smash Brothers champion. She probably has in the past, but we don't know. Snake and Dark Summons got two stocks. Princess Peach got three. That Daisy has four. 
Ooh, no good there. Well, Princess Daisy, yes, is a former champion, but Peach can actually become a champion if she actually focuses. If she, you know, honestly, I can say this: she can become champion. She can become champion. There's no, there's no such thing as she cannot become champion. She is going to become former champion. And I hate to say this, but if she puts the right kind of training that she does with Princess Daisy, this will be a one room, once in a lifetime opportunity for her. Ooh, good, good, good job by Princess Daisy as she goes for the club and hit, uh, hit Snake from a far away distance. Good job from Princess Peach as she gets rid of Snake. Snake has one. Ooh. There goes. And there goes the specialty by Princess Peach. Give it Daisy. Give it, I mean, Princess Daisy. Give it Peach a little edge. And there goes Dark Summon goes flying above the air. Ooh. These two have, these two have what it called the explosive power of gears and everything else. You know, honestly, if Snake was with zero two summons, then maybe this would have been a uh, difficult battle for Princess Peach and Daisy. But it's not, obviously. It really is not. Ooh, Daisy got three stocks like Princess Peach. Now they face the hardship. Who is going to win this one out? Oh, and there it goes. The special team by Princess Daisy. Ooh, it gives them a little edge. And there it goes. Oh. These two. Oh, Princess Peach got two stock left. Princess Daisy almost fell. Daisy almost fell off the edge, but. Ooh, good job by Prince. Good job by Daisy. Uh oh. There goes the specialty. He's going for it again. Ooh. Here it goes. Oh, the explosion. Good job by Snake. Snake is off trying to find a weak point. But if he keeps this on up, then maybe, maybe, this could be something. No good there as Princess Peach didn't get the, didn't get the nail on the coffin of knocking them out. Oh, the club again. They're going back and forth between this area of the start all over at Mario 3D World. Princess, da Princess Peach, I'm sorry for saying this. Peach was actually in Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo, for the Nintendo Wii. And obviously Daisy was not. She made her first debut in this game. There goes Princess Peach. She falls. Daisy falls off at the platform. But then after that, here comes. Uh oh. Peach has one stock left. Oh my goodness! But the hip bomb and Princess Daisy goes for the sneak attack and eliminates Dark Summon. Good job by the Yellow Team. Good job by the Princesses. Good job by Team Royalty. The royalties are back together once again! Well, technically they are, but technically they're not because they don't have that little much better toad. But I can say that the royalties are back together again. Good job by that. It's been a while. It's been a long time since we've seen the team royalties back together. It's been like what? Since uh, last year in December when we saw them in Mario Sport Mix. That was by far the most excellent day right there. Um, I hate to say it, but it was. Congratulations to Princess Peach and Princess Daisy as they reunite once again. Team Royalty is back in action as they take down Dark Summit and Snake. We're moving on to our next and final and gruesome match of them all. It's going to be a, uh, what is it called? A Morphin Stage Battle Fight for the finish. Yes, it is going to be that. So ladies and gentlemen, please give this video a thumbs up. We're going to our next and final match of the night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate match. Will the rivalry continue if they get two of these and Bowser and King K rules? The Koopa K's, the Koopa rules. If the Koopa rules wins, then they will continue the rivalry between Mario and Donkey Kong. But if Mario and Donkey Kong wins again, then the rivalry between these guys are over. And Mario and Mario and Donkey Kong will go down as the best tag team duos ever. Well, obviously, I don't want that to happen because if it does, then it will be in our history that they have. They had an undefeated streak, but on top of that, they were, it was also broken by Bowser and King K. Rool. And that is going to go down in history. Okay, I just want to make sure about that, but this has got to end. We need Bowser and King K. Rool to win so they can get two apiece piece and then they can continue this rivalry. I want this rivalry to continue until Bowser and King K. Rool has more wins over Mario and Donkey Kong. And make Donkey Kong realize that teaming up with Mario is the biggest mistake of them all. That's all I want, Alex. Well, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, a hundred thumbs up for this video. If you like it, please give a hundred thumbs up. Smash that a hundred thumbs up video if you like this one. This is gonna be the most.
craziest match of them all. This really is. This is a do or die moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get on with the action. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Will the rivalry end or will it continue? Who will win, the Mario Kart or the Koopa K? Here we go. The first match is about to begin. Mario and Donkey Kong, they're getting attacked. Here comes Bowser going after the attack on Mario. But the villain is going after Mario. These guys are teaming up to go after Mario. Donkey Kong, ooh. There it goes. Good job. Ooh, no good there. Garantina just came out from King, from King K. Fool. Here he goes. No good there as he tried to get him. Donkey Kong losing the stop right there. Ooh. Mario was right there trying to get him, but no good there. Ooh. No good there. Mario losing the stock. I'm about to look I need this rivalry to continue. Ooh. No good there as Mario tried to throw it, but Bowser and GK Rule somehow deflected it and throw it at them. Ooh. I need these guys to win. I want them to win. Mario, the first one to go with his specialty, and look at that, it activates it. And there goes Donkey Kong getting bounced, getting bounced right there. Good job. They got them both, so now it is only four piece for each. Good. Ooh, good job by Mario as he uses an explosion. Darn it, come on. Ooh, here goes Mario. He's going for his specialty yet again. They are the Bowser and Donkey Kong and GK Rule. King K. Rool gets Donkey Kong. Mario dodges it, but there it goes. King K. Rool knows how to get Donkey Kong and I'll do with him. They're all weak right now. Ooh, Bowser. Uh-oh. King K. Uh-oh. King of Bowser time. Ooh, he gets rid of Mario. Good job. Before, the, before he threw that little thing right there, that was a good stretch. Ooh, good job by Mario. Donkey Kong and Mario are trying to eliminate them. Uh-oh. Ooh, no good there. Donkey Kong. Oh, Mario. There it goes. These guys are really trying to aim to get this victory. Oh, Mario eliminates King K. Rule. Good job with that one. Uh-oh, a thumb thumb came out. Hey, that's Bowser thumb thumb. You can't do that. There goes Mario. Oh, he goes flying above the air. Uh-oh, Donkey Kong. He's right there. Mario goes flying, drops down to the floor. Mario drops to the floor. Kill it. That's what happens to him. Donkey Kong got his specialty. Mario is right there. He's trying to get all. Oh, good job by Mario. He gets Donkey. He gets him right there to there. Oh, a combined strength of Mario and Donkey Kong. What an epic performance that was. A home run hit and a specialty at the same time. Oh, Bowser missed. He didn't get no one. No, no, no. That's not how it's supposed to go. These guys are really trying to get on my nerves and trying to kick me off right now. You're supposed to get rid of these idiots. What are you doing, kings? Come on, man. There goes the specialty by Mario as he tried to weaken them. Oh, a home run. It hits Bowser. Bowser got one stock left. Oh, are you serious? Come on. Are you, you've got to be kidding me. He got Donkey Dog Kong. Donkey Kong gets hit. Can he survive? He survived. No, that's not even how this is go. There it goes. Uh-oh. No good there. He's trying to get Mario. And there it goes. Here it goes. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. But he got rid of the special of the item. Donkey Kong is a ginormous, is a ginormous, is a ginormous ape. Look at that. Bowser has been eliminated. He has been eliminated. GK Rule. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me with this. There goes Mario and Donkey Kong. The two best. Oh my goodness. Here goes Mario with the hammer. Don't, don't land. Don't land. No. And there it goes. Mario and Donkey Kong with their finest ever. Their final hour that's ended the rivalry. The Mario Kong take victory and create history as the first two dynamic rivalry duos to team up and take victory over their rivals, Bowser and King K. Rool. I am so bad right now. I could just, oh, come on. A Tuesday night rivalry and you could not even top it. So Mario and Donkey Kong Tag Team Duo are over for now and they take victory over their rivals. Or will it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our game. My name is Alex. Don't me and in front of the commentator fans. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. 
please make sure to give our videos a hundred thumbs up as we are going to continue to show you guys some more of this great non-stop total action. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. March is upon us. March Madness is going to come up, so I bet you there's going to be a lot of bunch of Smash Bros. fighters out there that's getting that's just itching for a fight. And not only that, but there's going to be a Smash Bros. tourney for March 1st as we begin the March Madness. Ooh, the March Madness. I am so excited for that. But I am mad right now that Bowser and DK Fool can't even get a victory over Mario and Donkey Kong. Are you serious? Come on, man. Bowser is supposed to be on, you're supposed to be on Bowser's side, Donkey Kong. How can you team up with Mario and beat, you know what, I am so, I, I'm done, I'm, I am done, I, I can't, you know what, I am commentating for this, sorry, no, but it's all for me, you all, but it's all for just for me, you all, and I'll see you guys at the next Super Smash Brothers Thursday Night Rivalry, episode 12, hopefully something comes, hopefully something better comes out of that, I hope we commentate tomorrow properly, oh, we don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for the more notifications. This is the Star Fox Chat channel. My name is Alex. This is Commentator Bear. And I'm saying to you guys, so long, ladies and gentlemen. And see you guys at the next Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Rival Night. Congratulations, Mario and Donkey Kong Team Mario Kong.